Um, I'm here to show you how to make my coconut milk yogurt because I was making it anyway, so I figured why not show you how. It's from my first book. It's right there on page 46. Um, I have been wanting this for breakfast, but have been refraining because I have been on a Whole30. There's two tablespoons of honey. You know, I would say the verdict is still out on whether or not that could be Whole30 or not. You can ask them. But um, the honey in it is actually used up, if you will, um, by the cultures while you are culturing the yogurt. So really the sugar content is not there. It's really just for the bacteria to feed on. Um, so anyways, though, it's about over, so I'm making up some yogurt. So I have two cans of coconut milk that I just have had sitting in some warm water because my pantry's freezing, and so it solidifies, and this makes it easier to shake it all up. Um, really anytime I cough for coconut milk in a can, unless I'm specifically calling for the cream, you want to um, shake it up and use both the cream and the water underneath. So I'm just going to put one of the cans in the saucepan and turn that on to high and then open up the other one. And because we're not using dairy, uh, this yogurt would not harden or solidify during the process unless you add some gelatin. Um, so we're going to start with another can here in this bowl. And I think in the recipe I only call for a quarter cup in the bowl, but I have a big bowl, so I wanna make sure there's enough in there for the gelatin. And we're going to use three teaspoons of this grass-fed beef gelatin. And so what I'm doing is sprinkling it over the coconut milk um, to let it bloom. So now I'm gonna actually have to wait for a few minutes. So if you're joining me, um, tell me where you're from. Tell me if you've made this before and then go ahead and start asking me some questions if you had because I know some people have questions about this specific recipe. So while I'm waiting for this to all heat up, I can answer your questions. You have hi from New Mexico, BC, Hello. Canada, Caldwell, New Jersey, Lexington. All places that I've not been. New Mexico, North Carolina. Awesome. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Grass Valley, California. Um, Great, hi. Not some too questions. Hard. Yes. Um, someone's wondering if that is vital protein. Sure is. Um, and you know what? Tropical Traditions is selling this now. I'm going to put a link um, when I post about this video, so you can grab some. Um, some people are wondering why you're doing Whole30. Oh, I needed a reset. Um, I am breastfeeding and I got into a really bad habit of eating like what, seven <laughs> mini chocolate chip cookies in the morning when I'd be hungry and then that led to lots of other bad decisions throughout the day. So I thought I'd do it. I also got the norovirus that you probably all saw. Our whole family got wiped clean by it and my stomach kind of hasn't been quite the same ever since. So I'm really just trying to take some precautions um, and yeah, that's why. Why beef gelatin? Well, you could use fish gelatin. Um, they don't make gelatin out of chicken bones unless I haven't seen it yet. So if somebody knows of some, tell me. Um, and you could also use agar agar, agar agar, however you pronounce it, if you're vegetarian. Um, what is your favorite brand of coconut milk? Well, so today I'm using the Native Forest um, because I was out of the other one. I like this one. It does have um, guar gum in it, which kind of bugs my husband's stomach. It's such a small amount. I don't notice a huge difference for me, um, but I like this one. And then I also like um, Natural Value, which does not have it in it. But this is also a B BPA, excuse me, free can. So it's kind of the one that I tend to go towards most often. Look in here. So I've got a um, candy thermometer in here. Really the candy thermometer comes in handy for after because we want to make sure that the milk is um, cold enough before we add our probiotic but I want this to get to about 150 degrees, which it's getting close. Um, so I'm gonna just turn it down because this is not quite ready yet. Question? Can you use coconut cream and thin it with water? Yeah, you can. Um, it just depends which coconut cream you're using. The problem is, is that um, some of the coconut creams out there have a, some other added ingredients. So um, I would be careful there. But yeah, I mean, this whole fat coconut milk is the best because it makes a really nice and creamy yogurt afterwards. Um, have you tried the coconut milk from Trader Joe's? <laughs> so if you watched my last Periscope and my Instagram pictures that night, I'm not super fond of it. It's pretty oily. It kind of has a funky taste. Um, I think that it could work in certain things, but I do think that the flavor would overpower a lot, um, especially in curries and things like that. And probably not for this one because there's not a whole lot of ingredients. There's one, two, three, four, four, can't count ingredients. So yeah, I, I probably wouldn't use it for this. 
Um, did the virus set off your UC? Ah, that's a great question. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm still figuring that out. Uh, it took a really long time for my whole like stomach to get back in order and I tried to do as much as I could right after it finished to try to counter that. So bone broth and lots of probiotics. So I'm still kind of just trying to get back to a good place. So I'm just taking every precaution possible just to make sure because um, I also had a postpartum flare with Asher. So you know, I'm going to be doing a post about that soon, but um, it's just all kind of precautionary. And what kind of probiotics are you using? Okay, so today I'm using this Ultimate Flora, and this is a 50 billion. You can get um, a lower one if you want and just add up the amount of capsules to get to 50. That's what I call for in this. Um, this one's dairy-free, gluten-free, so that's great. You could also use a yogurt, which is how most yogurts made with just starting with an actual yogurt or a yogurt starter. Um, okay, so we are just about good there. So um, let's get rid of this one. So the reason why we bloom the gelatin first is just to help it incorporate. It kind of soaks up a bit of the liquid. And then when we put the hot liquid in, it'll just help everything go together a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to add this into the pot. And you can pour the hot liquid on the bowl as well, but we're gonna pour this right in. So I have had some people write in, this, this is one of the recipes in the first book that people have questions about. Um, typically it's, you know, that the yogurt's not setting, and one of the first things um, could be that your gelatin is not getting fully incorporated in there. So you just want to whisk, make sure that it's all dissolved, because um, you don't want any big clumps of jelly-like substances <laughs> in your yogurt. Um, so we'll just twist that, and then what we need to do is wait for this to go down to about 110 degrees-ish. Let me look at my recipe because I don't know them all by heart. Um, can't find it, but, oh, 110, that was right. Um, so we want to wait till this gets to 110 because if you put the probiotic in too hot, uh, when it's too hot, it'll just kill the strains. So it needs to be cool enough so that it can like be a good environment for them to grow. Questions while I'm waiting for that to happen? So we're at about 1.30. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to try to make this today in the Instant Pot, which I have not done actually yet. Um, typically, I either use my old yogurt maker that I have, that's like that plastic round kind that you plug in, or I use my dehydrator. Um, but because everybody always asks, I'm gonna try it in this. Um, I have a tendency to throw parts away for appliances, and I threw away the metal grates and the rice maker because I was like, I'm never going to use this. So I kind of rigged it with some foil at the bottom. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Um, you just don't want the jars touching the hot bottom and then you have about a cup and a half of water in there. So um, in the meantime, also I'm going to add my honey here. Uh, I do about two tablespoons. It does not make for a very sweet yogurt. So if you want it to be sweeter, you can add more. This is really just enough, like I said, to feed the probiotics. Um, I know that honey is an antimicrobial, so some people ask like how that actually works. I don't know. Um, I really don't. I just know that I tested the recipe and it works, so it sweetens it. Um, you could use maple if you want, um, but I like honey. So you can add some fruit after, you know, you could do some fruit on the bottom even. And um, this is my big old 25, no 15 pound thing of honey. It's Where huge. is it from? From Tropical Traditions. Um, it's Canadian raw honey, so I'll hello to all of my Canadian fans. Um, all right, so we are getting close there. Really, there's not much left to this recipe now besides um, sprinkling in the probiotic, pouring it into jars, which you can use glass or if you have plastic, which is actually what we're using today because I was testing a um, ketchup recipe and used up all of my jars. So that's gonna be coming too, by the way. It's a whole 30 ketchup that I've been working on because I really missed ketchup um, this month. I like it on lots of different things. So um, I created one with dates. Okay, we're getting there. If you kind of keep stirring it, it can, it'll pull it down a little bit faster. If you're really in a hurry, um, which I probably should have done so that you guys don't have to watch me awkwardly waiting for the temperature to drop another 20 degrees, um, you can put it in a bowl of ice and that will help cool it down as well. Or a bowl of cold water, which we're gonna try to make that stick up a little bit. Um, are there any other questions? Um, you have a comment and she said, you're getting better at using this app. Great job. <laughs> yeah, so the first time was sideways, sorry, or upside down or one of or both, 
I don't remember. Um, thanks. <laughs> We're getting there. It's taken a little bit of. I'm a, um, a late adopter when it comes to apps. My husband's always telling me to get on certain things, and I just don't. Um, so I'm getting there. And I'm also on Snapchat, so I'm learning that too. I kind of thought that was just for like 13 year olds, but <laughs> it's fun. Um, but yeah, so anything else? <laughs> um, because the honey feeds the probiotics, would this be Whole30 compliant? So I mentioned that at the beginning, you may have joined a bit late, um, and so you can see it on the replay too. I am not an expert in Whole30. I'm not part of their program. I don't want to say anything out of line. I personally think that it's okay, but that's my own, that's my own prerogative. Um, I would double check with them, but yes, it's two tablespoons. It feeds the bacteria, which pretty much the sugar content, although I haven't had this actually measured by a nutritionist, is nothing. Um, so, you know, do what you will. Um, it's a very sour yogurt if you add some fruit, you know, so it's up to you. Have you gotten to making a gluten-free pretzel recipe? Ooh, no, I haven't. Um, it's a tough one. Gluten-free would be easier. Grain-free pretzel recipe, which is what I do, would be pretty tough. Um, it's one of those things that I'm like, I don't think I'd get the texture right without some different ingredients that I can't use, and so I just would rather leave it left undone. Anything else? All right, we are close. So all we're going to do is break this open and sprinkle it in. Where can you find that probiotic? So I get this one at Whole Foods and you can get it online as well. Really, um, you know, Whole Foods actually has their own um, generic brand as well that's cheaper. So you can ask them for that too. I just look for dairy-free, gluten-free, um, soy-free in the ingredients and um, you know, I mean, 50 billion is a great one. That's, it's actually the one. This one has 10 strains. Um, this is the one that I actually take on a daily basis as well. Okay. All right, so, like I said, we're using plastic. Don't anybody get mad at me. I don't know if these are BPA free. Or... It came with my old yogurt maker. Um, and this is not getting hot enough, and this is now cool. They don't believe anything will leach, but somebody will tell me otherwise. So if that's the case, I won't use them again. Um, all right, so all we're going to do now is, you know, so I don't make a mess. Excuse me. I need to use this because this will make it a lot easier for. Okay, so one of the other things, because you're not going to get to see the finished product with this, is that when it comes out of the yogurt maker tomorrow, um, after about 20, hours or so. The longer you ferment by the way, the uh, sour the yogurt will be, the more sour. Uh, but it won't be solid when it first comes out because the gelatin needs to be cool to make it solid. So um, I hear sometimes from people when they first take it out that it's not solid. Don't expect it to be. There will be kind of a separation from the coconut milk. You'll get the cream on top and kind of a clear liquid at the bottom. Um, and that's absolutely fine and that's what you should expect um, part of the process actually in this recipe that I have you do afterwards is take it out and either whisk it or use an immersion blender or um, throw it in a blender and just kind of blend it all up so that it gets smooth oops I wasn't really watching there but another really yummy thing you can do is put some fresh vanilla bean um, seeds in this that tastes delicious okay so we're gonna just kind of press those on top of our foil coils. If Instant Pot is watching this, feel free to send me another grate because <laughs> I won't throw it away this time, I promise. Um, okay, I think these are gonna be fine. As long as Asher doesn't come up and tip it over, we should be good. So we're going to place the lid on, which I never do well. I can always, always, always miss the mark, but I know that there's a Yep, there it is. I'm like, I know that there is an arrow, and that's where you're supposed to, there we go. And we're going to push the yogurt make, and that's it. We're gonna let that go. Oh, and I'll make sure that this is on stealing and not on venting, because that would be bad. So that's just gonna do its thing for eight hours, as opposed to the 24, which I call for in my book, um, and then we'll release the steam, and we will um, post a picture, how about, on Instagram, because or maybe I'll do another Periscope and show you what the finished product is. So have a great Friday night, everybody. I hope you guys have better plans than um, making yogurt. But if you don't, then make some yogurt. See ya.